Good day beautiful people. Today we are going to make Dawn's very favorite mug rug and we are going to talk about the wide variety of mug rugs available for you to purchase on the Hatched in Africa website. You can see we have some of them on the wall behind us. This is not even half of what we have to offer for sale. It is a nice gift for somebody else. It is also a nice personal item to make for yourself to use. We are going to start by explaining how we make the little mug rug. We start with having two layers of water soluble stabilizer, a wash away, a wet and gone, whatever you want to call it, nice and tight in the hoop. This is the registration for your design. So do make sure that you have it hooped nice and tight. I'm going to hand the hoop to Amanda. She is going to stitch the first section for us. That will be the placement line for your batting because that is the first layer that's going to go down. We use a nice thin batting, not thicker than two millimeters. Otherwise your satin stitch will not make a good coverage. You can see the nice and colorful threads we are going to use and this is the little mug rug we'll be doing. Just plain, simple and elegant, but it also allows you to add maybe another design if you should so prefer or if you would like to add some wording like just for me or cookies are good or coffee makes me happy. Anything that grabs your fancy can be added to that. We have also on this corner, for those of you that loves to play cards or poker, there's a whole set of this. It's called the uh, Casino Mug Rugs, and that's also a nice gift for a friend that likes to play cards. Not all of them have the word casino on them. So Amanda, we, you're going to hand us the hoop now. So as you all can see, we have the placement line. We use a little bit of that I made myself from a vegetable cutting mat. It is a board with a 5 by 7 inch cutout in it. You place that over the hoop and then you will just use your spray. How smart is that? Yes, uh, we actually have larger boards as well that we make for every hoop. Just be careful, measure the hole. Because if the cutout is bigger than your hoop, then it has no purpose. So this way, the spray is on your piece of vegetable cutting board, cardboard, whatever you can find to make this gadget. And you have no spray on your hoop. Because I do not like sticky hoops. This can simply go in the wash, washing machine, in the dishwasher, and you can clean it that way. So now we are going to lay down our batting. Just simply lay it down. You do not really have to pin it down or anything. It just will stay there nice and smooth and handle the hoop on the edges. And we will hand this back to Amanda to stitch us the next step, which is the placement of the fabric. We are now going to trim the batting with our very nice double bent scissors that can actually move over the edge of the hoop. I really love these scissors and for our South African friends, you can purchase these scissors from us in South Africa. You just need to call or send a WhatsApp. So we are going to trim it. Oh man. What kind of master stitch there? So now we have the finished item here. We've trimmed away all the batting and it can go to the machine for the next step. Do remember to handle the hoop on the outside. We are now ready to place down the fabric, the top layer of fabric that's going to have the embroidery. You can use a little bit of spray if necessary, but it's not imperative. Make sure that you cover the whole section nicely and we are going to hand it to Amanda so that she can continue stitching for us. As you can see, we have now stitched the next step. It is the outline 
of the shape of the mug rug. We stitched this in the color pink, nice and bright so that you can see, but you will use the same color as the edge that you're going to do, the satin edge. What is important to know now, if you just follow the instructions and the color chart, you will see that we do not trim this fabric now. We finished all the embroidery on the mug rug and at the end we will trim it and place the lining the reason being that if there is any pull while the design stitches that you are still insured of a nice coverage of the edge of your fabric at the end of the process now stitching and so whilst we're stitching we'll talk a little bit about the mug rugs um, I may not remember all the names, but at the end of the video, we will give you photographs with all the numbers of the different sets. This is one of the first ones we made, and it's called Mr. and Mrs. Selfie. So that's just an idea that you can have as a fun gift for maybe one of the teenagers or so. And then on this one, we have the muscle cars. It's, it's a whole set of designs, maybe for a guy that likes old cars. This one goes with a set of beautiful applique pot designs, teapot designs, that we will be do showing you later on. Um, there's a set of owls. Don't forget to be owlsome. Cute little set of with the owl on and the owl. Can I ask a question? Yes. Um, the one that says what happened around the teapot, I see a white around the outside. Is that because it hasn't been soaked off? This hasn't been soaked off yet. Okay. Sometimes we just get busy and it gets packed in the cupboard without soaking off. You just need to soak it off. Okay, thank you. That's great. I think you can see that around these two. This was the last set we made. It's like day shift and night shift. Um, I wouldn't say this is the greatest color of the background, but you know, it's like trial and error. You put something down and you like it or you don't like it. I prefer the blue. This, of course, is Dawn's favorite that comes with Tropicana, and it's the one we're stitching now. And it does have a grid pattern to keep the batting down. Then we come down here, and we have a few sewing ones. This is like a machine like in the hoop and you can either use the word sewing or you can actually stitch the blank and add um, for Susan or anything else that you'd like to put there. This is also um, sewing ones and this is like a little bit of quilting in the hoop with a name, Eat, Sleep, Quilt, Retreat, Repeat is that the word, Eat, Sleep, Quilt, Repeat. And this is I Love Quilting with a little block of, um, what do they call this, crazy quilting. Then we have quite a few of sayings on them, nice gift for a friend. And over here, right at the end, we have some for the girls that still does ballet. Um, I Love Ballet and then also ones with words on them. And you know, you, you do not have to make a mug rug, you can always just stitch the saying on the front of a t-shirt or on a ballet bag. We also give you this, the design separately. This is a very, very popular set. And some of you that may have seen me on my travels in the United States will know why there are eyelets in here. When I travel, I have them on a little ring hoop so that you can browse them without them lying all over the shop and disappearing afterwards if I can't find them. But this is from Rooster's Rule. Collection is called Rooster's Rule. And there's quite a few roosters as well. And we will show you a runner later on. This is um, for the wine lovers. Some nice sayings of wine. Um, some glasses. Um, this is like a little coaster. Wine glass goes here little savory bite can go on this side this is actually to hang on the bottle if you're having a nice dinner and you've got different types of wine that's to hang on the bottle this one is very popular this is um, the coffee mug rug set and the tea mug rug set this one is really a, a very popular design set and underneath here we just have a few different ones with flowers 
as Dawn said, we will actually just um, give you the names of the designs at the end in photographs. We are also going to fill the board again with more mug rugs and then we will just give you photos. This is really fun. When I made my first mug rug, um, I didn't realize it would be so popular because it's a new thing in South Africa. We don't use this, but now we've also become used to using it and it's very popular in South Africa as well. So Amanda just handed us the project as we progress. As you can see, we now have all the stitches of the design stitched and we also have still the placement line where we're going to cut the fabric. We are now going to turn around the hoop and use a little bit of spray on the other side. And then we are going to place the lining in position. And we are going to give it back to Amanda to tack down the lining. Be very sure when you place the hoop on the machine that you do not fold your lining back. Make sure that it's still flat. Yes, and so we have a new board up here with some more of the Hatched in Africa mug rugs. Some of you may remember these. A while back, we had this as a freebie from the Freebie Club. So some of you that are members of the Freebie Club would have received them free. They are now for sale. Um, it's a very nice set of mug rugs um, with pies, and it also comes with the design separately. And it does come with a... a kitchen towel hanger that you can actually attach to a kitchen towel so it's a very nice set of designs over here we still go on with full these are um are full mug rugs based on the um tiffany designs we do like the stained glass so we have the round one the five by seven inch smaller one and the larger um six by ten inch ones and then we go down here. This is one that says cookies for Santa, carrots for the reindeer. And I love this one that says, oh dear, this is just a, a nice, interesting, cartoonish reindeer. Over here we have the snowman. And we also have a blank one so that you could actually put your own design on there, whatever you prefer. Maybe a Santa, maybe some words. Then we have some coasters, some Christmas coasters, all done in the hoop. And if you see all the white markings on this, these have not been soaked out. We are kind of busy here, so we don't ever get to soak them out. We move over to little Merry Christmas one. And then we have the snowmen here. These are really cute, comes in two sizes, five by seven and six by 10 inch. Um, this is just an example of, <laughs> of the Tiffany and Stitches, the first one we made. Remember, that everything that you see that shines is mylar that we put behind the, behind the stitches. Mylar. It's the mylar that gives the shine to the design. This is um, a cross we made for Easter. Would have been nice with mylar as well. You would simply place the whole piece of mylar down, stitch the design and remove it where the empty spaces are. A huge nice Easter egg, nice for Easter. And then some more little, these are five by seven inch, they're small, but you also get the six by 10 inch in the same file. And then just a little cartoonish one, I think your dynamite, happy new year, sweet springtime, just together forever little birdies for somebody that's um, getting married or very much in love and we go over to St. Patrick's where we have a beer mug and then we have the St. Patrick's here. St. Patrick's is not something we do in South Africa that is a holiday for you and maybe the Irish and I think over here we have a pumpkin, boot season is here, we have thanks with a grateful heart and this one with the leaves, the four leaves, that was the freebie club freebie two weeks ago. And the next week it was the coaster. And then just a little Halloween one. I like my coffee with cream and sugar. 
more pumpkin spice, cobble. We do not have all the samples on the board because we don't, um, some of them stay behind in the United States, so we don't have them all. But there is such a huge, huge variety for you to choose from. And as we said at the end of the video, we will make a list of the available designs with the number and you can just search the hatchedinafrica.com website. Now we are going to cut our lining. So this is what the project looks like now. Front and back. So we are first going to trim the back. Just take your little double bend scissors. It's like any other applique design. Just trim close to the stitches and for this I'm going to remove my glasses as you know all trifocals and bifocals they're not that easy to live with so that's how you trim the lining so now we have trimmed the lining at the back as you can see nice and close to the stitches we're simply going to turn over the hoop and do the same on the front we will just trim close to the stitches again let me explain something small here you may see that the pink stitches that we stitched in pink for the purpose of the video are now not on the same registration as in the first round that is exactly the reason why we do not cut it in the first round that is how much pull there was with the embroidery and now we trim it on the outside and it will be perfect for your satin stitch and it will cover your your entire edge very nicely had you cut it in the first round you would not have had good coverage I hope you all got that. So I'll continue cutting here. Okay, so now you can see we've trimmed the front of the magrug as well. Just to recap, recap front and back. I'm going to hand it back to Amanda to do the satin edge. On the table, we have a few interesting ones. This is um, Coffee with Santa, and it actually is just like two or three magrugs in two, two different sizes and it also has the coffee sleeves which um, unfortunately right this minute I can't find this is Mrs. Santa and you can see I have a bead over there that's just to enable the cup for a head to stand out when you put the cup down but you can also have just the flat version like over here and this is just to show you what we do the head is stitched separately from the body to enable the people with the 5 by 7 inch hoops to also do this and then you simply just attach, attach it to the center with a few hand stitches or you can use your buttonhole stitch on your sewing machine so that's just another set of coffee ones with Santa and these are actually a nice gift for a neighbor if you make a few of these and then on the table here we have um, just one block this is from Tiffany Santa this is the center block of the top row and it makes a nice mug rug and we also have this one here from Midnight Santa um, you can see the difference between the two designs the one has mylar and the one does, does not have mylar and over here we have the Christmas tree mug rug with the mylar and also the ornament that we stitched on organza so that you can actually hang that in the window. So now we have our mug rug completed. As you can see in the hoop, one more step just to actually remove it from the hoop. We just can cut around it. So now all that remains is for you to actually put it in the water and soak out the water soluble stabilizer and you have a beautiful little mug rug like this. Make six, then you can give that as a set, as a gift to a, a friend of yours that you really love a lot because it is time consuming but so worth everything.
Thank you, Santa. You'll never see those two mug rugs again. I know that. Only with pleasure, my friend. Amanda <laughs> can make you some more if she's got nothing to do. Thank you, and have a good night.